Jerking. So it's the weekend again and we're just trying to straighten this ram out. We think it must have been lifted because um, it's the top ram <coughs> off the hedge gutter. We think it maybe someone's put a strap around it to lift it off the lorry at this sail and it's just bent it. We've, uh, we've used the ram up and down a bit but it started leaking oil a bit so we're just trying to straighten it out. Um, we've, yeah we've had the, I've had the hedge cutter going. It seemed, everything seems to work. I did break a pipe on it which I had to fix. Yeah, ran out of battery. So yeah what we've been doing so far we had it we had it on the other tractor and, it, and um, I plugged it into the spool valves and it you know made it a lot more um, usable but uh, it's only got manual spool valves on the 10 series so and one of them sticks quite a lot so it's quite wasn't overly nice so we've put it on the 6430 which has got electric valves and yeah it seems we haven't had a go yet but we're just trying to just tweaking a few things. Um, Dan's just looking for a bolt. This roller, this roller is missing a bolt. Um, we've had this off and put, drilled it out and put a new bolt in it because it, it the bolt was too small. And it was flapping around. We've had the ram off. This ram, as I've just shown you, strained it off in the uh, press. So that seems better. We also drilled out the two uh, bush, because the bushes are slip, we had to drill through the grease nipple hole, re-thread re uh, the grease nipples on both, well, one of the ends. And the other end we just cleaned out to get the grease nipples working. And then we thought we'd just do away with this cable block, because we just had cables and pipes everywhere. So it was only three, three bolts, and you can just whip it off from there, got it out of the way. So. It's all pretty much now set up and ready to go. Um, yeah, just turn. We've had to turn all the spool valves right down to like um, like five percent power. And a few of them tweaked because sometimes it comes in faster than it goes out, so we just tweak them. But we don't know. We, I think we'd have to use it to figure out exactly which um, pipe you want on which finger. Because until you have a go, you don't really know. You might want to swap them round. So, so yeah, we're going to have, we might go and have a go. Seems like it's a Bonford. Whether it's a bon, just a Bonford head, it's got a Bonford plate on it. So whether the whole thing's like a really old-fashioned Bonford, or, or whether it's just the head, I don't know. Can't find a plate anywhere else on it. So, don't know. They're, so yeah, anyway. We've had a disaster with the Land Rover. It's decided to throw all its oil out of the dipstick, so it's pressurising and sp spraying oil out, <coughs> which is a bit of a pain because I'm going to be lost without it. Really, I can't really do anything. Um, so it's we don't know. We need to do some more testing to find out whether it's a uh, piston ring. Uh, whether it or it could could be a head like head gasket. Um, there's no water. There's no oil in the water, but it, that doesn't rule out head gasket. I don't think. I don't really know. I'm leaving it to Mark and Dan. To, we're waiting on a pressure testing pressure gauge or something to to um, find a bit more out. I don't mind spending a bit of money on the engine because I've never done anything with it. So. Uh, it's got potential that it's got, it's done about 270, maybe 280,000 miles, so it's done a fair bit of work if it is the original engine, but there's no way of knowing really. I've only had it for 40, 40 or 50,000 miles, so. So yeah, I'm hoping we can get that sorted ASAP because I'm blooming stuff without it. I can't move sheep, can't, you know, move cattle around. Can't go and get cattle feed, and this is a bit lost. So it's, it's been doing a lot more miles just recently, doing a lot of work, really. So anyway, 
see if we can have a play with this hedge cutter. Took it for a spin down the road, it was just cutting the top of a hedge and managed to get barbed wire in it somehow. But yeah, works really well. Um, gives you a bit of a stiff neck because you sort of you sort of um, shoulders are back because you've got your arm on your right hand side and you're looking over the left. But I mean, you can't, uh, you couldn't beat using the electrics controls over uh, cables so I don't know I think you just have to go cutting in small doses but uh, Dan's got a testing kit what is it then pressure testing compression tester for the uh, Land Rover engine so we're just going to have a go, apparently we've got to take the glow plugs out one at a time. It's a right oily mess in here. But, so we've taken this off. So this is the plug I'm guessing. So we've got to just take them out one at a time and put the tester in to um, test the pressure. I don't know, I saw that out of my... Uh, out of my uh, knowledge range really so that's step one apparently <laughs> what a muggy morning it is today in fact we've got some rats in here making a, a right mess of them round bales of oat straw Yeah, I keep seeing the odd one. They, they live in this, uh, there's like a, what, what used to be like a flower bed, soil bank along the side of that, along the side of the warehouse. And I think there's a load of runs in there. We need to try and uh, flush them out or something. I don't know, put some poison down. Yeah, there's quite a few rats about at the moment. But yeah, it's a muggy day today. The pond is, uh, Pond's about as full as it ever gets again. It wants uh, wants the outlet unblocking, but trouble is, there's that much water in the drain. I don't think it would uh, go anywhere at the moment. I have to let wait till it goes down.
Seems a bit odd to be uh, rolling straw out in the day. It's normally in sort of an evening job. Dan's just gone to take a load of muck down the road. We're getting running out of space here, so. So yeah, we ran out of time last night. We were messing with the Land Rover. Um, and yeah, they just don't, normally they'd last till tonight, but they just uh, haven't got any horse muck at the moment to put in the, in the passageway, so. Doesn't half make a difference. I reckon I'd probably use an extra bale, maybe two bales a week. Brown bales. Without having the chicken muck. Because and the muck that you're scraping out is not it's not nice box muck, it's like real it's, there's a lot of slop and slurry in it. So I don't know what where the what what's happened to the uh, horse muck job. It doesn't run off. Yeah, I'm just looking I'm not, I'm thinking uh, I could do with getting another load of straw in. That's all I've got left. Um, so I'm not out, but uh, I definitely won't have enough to last me till uh, till August, September. So yeah, I've asked the fella I got those bales off whether he can spare any more. But he hasn't got back to me yet, so I'll see what he says. I've got another load now. it will probably see me the majority of the way. So yeah, right, I think it's nearly breakfast time. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Land Rover. We can't seem to be able to, we did a, well, I'll get down to explain what, what we've, uh, where we're up to with that. So we've uh, done a compression test, well Dan did, and what do we find? That every uh, oh, that's good. every valve is just about the same uh, same compression, which was what? Was it just shy of 400 psi on each one? Yeah. Uh, yeah so that didn't really tell us a lot. Uh, so what we're we doing now? Making sure the breather pipes are clear. Um, Mark said it's probably worth replacing this breather, but it's unlikely to be a problem because it wasn't. Well, I'll be corrected, but it's probably. I don't think it's been that long since we changed that. So, yeah, that's all we know. There might not be as much wrong with it as we thought. Um, but it does just, you know, when you run it up and run it warm, it does blow oil out of the dipstick. So, uh, yeah. So what we're doing now is checking that this pipe, this pipe is clear, by, uh, which is the pipe that comes up from the sump into this breather. Take, check that's clear and then uh, what else have we got to do? Taking the vacuum off. Taking this vacuum pipe off from the brakes. Blank that off. I uh, don't know why. Why are we doing that? I don't know, Mark told us to. Because Mark told us to. So, yeah, we're just trying to figure out what it is. It, it's looking like it's maybe not as major as we thought it was. Well, we don't know yet. But we don't know. We were sort of hoping, well, we weren't hoping, but we thought that the compression test would point something obvious out if one of the valves was a lot lower than the rest 
but it didn't. So, uh, carry on troubleshooting. Keep troubleshooting. If in doubt, we'll uh, just carry on using it. I think. Needs must. first one was yeah. so yeah it looks as though uh, we haven't really figured anything out with the Land Rover we're just going to um, it could be that uh, breather apparently we, I said that we'd replaced it not that long ago which apparently was not true we've not replaced it uh, in recent recent memory so uh, I must have dreamt that we did so we're going to put a new one on them on or well, we've got to because we sort of well, we sort of exploded the one that we've got it's another story um, and then just keep an eye on it or really check that keep an eye on the oil and uh, because it could be that if that wasn't uh, doing what it was supposed to be doing uh, that could be why the uh, air was blowing out of the dipstick so we'll see so hopefully it won't be a big job uh, anyway but yeah so That'll be the end of this video, so we'll see what happens tomorrow and this week, and uh, yeah, bye for now.